um, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you've got to just let them go. Um, you know, because, you know, the game's emotional. And I remember a, a situation when we were in Perth, um, Brad Robbins, who was quite a, an aggressive player, quite a fiery guy at sometimes. Sometimes if you pick the wrong moment to say something, you can only, you know, throw fuel on the fire. And Brad and Bebo got into it at practice one day and Brad walked off. And I was standing next to Andy Stewart, who coached the, the Perth Lynx the last three years. And Andy said, oh, I wouldn't let him do that. And I said, I would, because if Bebo says anything to him now, that's just gonna, that's just gonna inflame the situation. And that, he'd go off, I said, Brad will go away, calm down, he'll come on back. And pretty much that's what Brad did. He went away, he came back, he stopped practice and he apologized for his behavior. And I think you've got to look at that. If a player's coming off heated, why are they heated? Are they heated at the referees? If so, can I calm them down? You know, maybe sub them out. Uh, and again, that's the relationships you build with your players. Like, you know, I had a player play for me this year, uh, Henry Walker, who was Bill Walker, who played in the NBA for five, six years. And sometimes he would come off very heated and, and I could just ask him, what's the problem? And, you know, that was the relationship I built with Henry. And he would, he'd say, oh, they're not giving me this. And I'd say, well, we know that, you know, if it was a referee, well, we know we're not going to get that. And he would often calm down or I'd ask him a question, how are you going to channel that? Where are you going to put that energy now? Um, you know, and, and sometimes I would, I would sub him out, take the break from him and get, get you. You know, I remember a time with uh, Omar Sanhan, who played for us in Townsville. He got quite heated because I subbed him out after his, he got his fourth foul. And coach, don't sub me out, don't sub me out. And I was like, mate, I need to get you out of the face of the referees right now. So just take a rest for a moment. We'll get you back in in a couple of minutes. And, you know, that helped him calm down. And, and Omar was quite, you know, fiery sort of guy in, in all the right ways most of the time. So to me, you know, players coming off heated. Have you seen why they're heated? Can you talk to them? Maybe your assistant coach takes them for a moment. Um, I did have a time one time... Uh, <laughs> was on national television, which was quite hilarious with Corey Maynard. He came off and I subbed him out and he threw his bottle. So I asked him to walk, go away from the team. And I was actually quite stern with him in this moment. And I, I felt it was the right thing to do and told him it's not about him. And we didn't want any negativity around the, around the team when we're, we're going, you know, it's about the team. So it depends on the circumstance. It's not an easy, easy answer. It's knowing the person, you know, do they respond well to being stern? Do they respond? Do they need a, you know, for want of a better way to put it, do they need an arm around them and a little bit of empathy. And, and as you learn that with your players, you're able to respond in the right way.